Hello dear students, our today's topic is the invitation letter. You know you are in the fourth semester and letters are very important in this semester. We have read lots of types of letters and now today one of the important types of letter is the invitation letter. I mean the letter which is written in order to invite someone. Let us see what are the important characteristics and the features of invitation letter. So first of all is the definition of invitation letter. It says an invitation is a request to attend an event. It could be an invitation to a barbecue, a night at the theater, a birthday or anniversary party, a housewarming or a wedding or even an invitation to give a speech on a seminar or in a conference. It means that we write an invitation letter to a person who, who we want to come, that he should come and sit with us in order to join any playable activity, any academic activity or to perform any function. This type of letter when it's written it should be called as invitation letter. Invitation letters can be formal and informal both. We have uh, sometime formal occasion, so the letter will become formal letter and sometime we have informal occasions at that time invitation letter would become informal. The informal invitation letter has the following characteristic. Its format is most of the time handwritten but it can be typed as well. Secondly, the tone of this letter is informal. I mean there is more closeness and intimacy shown to the reader. Then the voice of the letter is going to be active. It is not passive. It means that the writer needs to write by using the subject I, you, etc. instead of using the object. So the voice is to be used as active voice. The structure of the informal invitation letter shows the following indications that it describes what is going to happen, when it is going to happen, where is the place where the thing will be happening, if there is any change or the people who are waiting for that. In the same way there is a handy phrase which can be used all the time that is RSVP, I mean reply if you please. So that was the, uh, the format or the style of an informal invitation letter. Now here is an example of the informal invitation letter. Dear Dr. and Mrs. Davidson, we will be celebrating Paula and Steve's 30th year of ministry with a dinner at the Floribunda Commons restaurant Saturday, November 29th of 8 p.m. Please let us know by Monday the 24th if you can join us on this happy occasion with love, Arbine Izadi. Now if you look at this letter, it addresses with an intimated tone. Then it is active voice because it is starting with the subject we. And after that it goes to talk about the place and the timing and the reason why this letter is being written. So in that way this is the style how an informal invitation letter should be written. Here are some of the tips for writing such letters that one should be describing the event all the time, what it is and then we may be telling all the details like location, where it is going to take place, the timing and the date and the dress and the directions etc. And after that there should be some reply cards with which or email address may be written or phone numbers may be given. These are some of the tips for writing an informal invitation letter. And after that comes the formal invitation letter. This formal invitation letter is again similar as compared to the informal because this is also handwritten or it can be typed as well. It should have some engraving or boldly written this RSVP. The style of the invi invi in in invitation letter which is formal can be both active and passive as well. Its tone can be a little bit less intimation tone. The structure has the occasion, what is the occasion 
and when it is going to take place and where it will be taking place and then somebody to be recommended for the reply or the answer some other informations may be there announcement of the lunch the formal dressing may also be talked about so these are some of the parts some of the styles of the invitation letter it's almost the same other than the tone there will be no difference uh, for example look at this here is the formal invitation letter this is written not in the concept of traditional letter for example address comes first of all then the information comes and after that information is about the place and it is about the date and the timing and the address of the person where this celebration is taking place so it's very briefly written and is told how the formal invitation letter is written here are some of the tips for formal invitation letter the some of the phrases are quite common and can be used very easily for example requesting the honor is the phrase that should be used for wedding invitation i mean marriage invitation but if you want to write something for uh, this this like request the player of your company is appropriate in any formal invitation and after that if you must cancel a formal invitation use the same format and style cancellation of invitation letter is also written the same format and style uh, then we can also take care of the fact that at least six weeks before the invitation should be sent so that the people may be able to make a very good arrangement in order to join the invitation so that is the information that is the kind of situation we have about the invitation letter now after this i shall be providing you some of the notes you will read that and as a result clarification of the concept of invitation letter will be taking place thank you for watching all this